Thank you everybody, thank you, muchly muchly appreciated. Let's see what 99 Slayer gives us, shall we? You can now kill Superior Vitoso. Superior? Are you joking me? Well, I mean, I can't complain, it's about time. I'm not sure how long I could have put up with killing a level 2 Slayer requirement normal Vitoso, jeez. Go on, let's have a look at this task then, shall we? Hello boys and girls, and welcome to All Score and Skip Challenges, episode number 112. I'm here with Jensen. Hello boys and girls, how we doing, how we doing? How we doing? The video has been a bit slow, you might have noticed. It, it's normal for us, but yeah. Jen, Jen's going to explain. Listen, boys, it's been my birthday, so the videos are about a week a week late than More usual. More like two. A week and a bit, because obviously I've had loads of plans, I've been busy, not going to lie, I don't want to be playing a, a Java-based clicking point game, to be honest <laughs> with you, so there you go. David, onto the video, come on. This video did come from Pulch in the Discord, so get in the Discord, boys. Challenge suggestion category there, whack them in. In this video, me and Jen are going to take on the appearances of various NPCs that you might have come into contact with on your adventures through G G Gielinor. Gilbor. Gilinor. We have both got six NPCs that we are going to copy the look of. What are they, Dave? It's a follow door guard. It's the bandit. It's the dark wizard. It's a hand member. Pickpocket Hello. for them clues. Captain Killian. Do you know who that is? Not a clue, Dave. You will when we get into that. the video. <laughs> and then finally, a hero. The rules are very straightforward. We're both going to start from scratch. Teleport tabs and staminas are allowed. We're not Thank allowed you. to use the GE. So, Jen, all the items you've got to get them yourself. Game knowledge, Jen. Game, game knowledge, game, game knowledge. knowledge. We can't trade other players for items, obviously. And as you can see from the list, for example, a followed old guard needs leather boots and a hero needs leather boots. So, because they're duplicate items, we can only get one at a time. So we get the leather boots, we complete that set. Then we have to go back and get the leather boots. We can't pick up two and do two sets in one. Does that make so sense? Can, yeah, so can we only do one set at a time? One set at a time. You can't mix got and match you, one you, set you, at a time. You. We're going to hide the timer from screen. And whoever does it in the quickest time will win the video. You're probably wondering the forfeit. Do you want me to tell you? Dave, go on. Do, 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 mix it up. Do it beforehand. Go on. The forfeit of this video, person who loses has to dress up as the highway man. Where is this going? Stand at the GE for half an hour, saying stand oh and deliver, okay? My. Obviously, if people see your name, you might go, oh, stand and deliver, he's doing a video, I'll give him two mil. If they give you two mil, then you take it, but you're not allowed to keep it. After your 30 minute forfeit is done, you then have to give everything you've been given away, if you get given anything. Right, Gone. okay, yeah, that makes sense. So basically, you're losing 30 minutes of your life. Right, saying so stand and deliver on a RuneScape game online on your computer <laughs> at 22 years old thinking, why am I doing this on my birthday? <laughs> what that is what you're going to be doing. I've got nothing left. Are you in Beal? <laughs> you just logged out. He has got nothing left. <laughs> oh, and I'm streaming very consistently on Twitch. So if you want to give that a follow, twitch.tv before I stand to. Thank you very much. Oh, and 17,000 likes. We might dress up as General Grado. See you in a bit. Right, ladies and gents. First thing is first. We're going to head over to... The lumber each in here downstairs there's a knife we're gonna take it we're gonna need it for slashing some webs and slashing dave in the challenge video i'm pretty sure it's, oh it's on there right it's on the box we get the knife we're gonna teleport over to the deep wilderness lava maze and we're gonna be picking up steel plate bodies iron man style boys and girls right we're casually hopping picking up these steel plate bodies like it's no man's business uh gonna get a couple not too many though and we'll just get our start cash flow in just to get the first initial sets. The first initial sets don't actually look like they cost too much, so just a couple of these will do for now. Especially, we're on a time limit, so we've got to be a bit snappy. Right, we picked up a couple, head on back, go to our man Horvik in Varrock, and he'll actually buy a couple of these for a decent price, so we'll get that sorted now. Right to you. To start the money making, I do think I'm going to do a bit of Puro Puro. Now, you're probably wondering, Dave, hunt a kit, all that stuff, hunt a kit on the Lunar Spellbook. There it is. You get a net and a jar, as far as I'm aware. And then we'll go to Puro Puro, try get a piece of rune, sell it to the shop, or high kit, try get some runes, and then we'll go from there. So the time's starting, we're getting off the screen, and we're going. Once pickaxe, yes please, thank you. 
Now I'm literally just gonna try get some money before I attempt to go for any of the sets. I'm not. I don't think implants give any of the items that I need. But if they do, then I'm gonna have to go ahead and start the set that I get an item from. I'm gonna make probably eight of these into astral runes and then i'm going to try and lock on the urania altar eight pure essence onto the altar thank you that is seven dave you know when you're under a time limit and you just end up going the way that you're just not supposed to go why am i going the longest way possible right we're after nature runes nature runes and nature runes yes we got two. Oh, we got some laws these will sell i'm pretty sure these will sell right it's not ideal but we do have some starting money. Blood runes, hello. Soul runes, hello. That is one way to make some money, if you ask me. And there goes the last one, boys. 6255 is a GP total we're on. Uh, now we can go ahead. Uh, I'm going to get a quick invent setup out in the bank so we can start banging out some of these easier um, outfits which don't require too much money. So basically, boys, you do this. And you get yourself a hunter kit. You can only have one at a time. That's fine. And you get all this. I need the net is what I want and the implant jar. So if I can sell all this to the uh, the general store now, we're talking money. One coin. Two coins. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sweet Mary. Right, so we are sort of after magpie implants. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, mate, but, you know, t time's against me. Time's... Oh, just, just like, I'm sorry, mate. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Rune, rune square? Loop half. Don't think that helps. But if we can get the tooth half. Dragonstone. Hello. Come on. Come on. That'll do. What are we getting? The, the f oh, no. ah. Dave. Thank God for that. Come on. Snap dragon seed. I can't do anything with that. I need a ninja. A ninja is like a guaranteed 10k. Can you receive? Asking you receive. Come on. Rune chain. Get in. That for me, can buy me about four of the sets that I need. Yep, yep. Magpie. We got two. We li We got a key. We got a key. And I got the jar back. I can trade the key in. Rune legs, yes please. Exactly. Get the jar back. That's bad. That's that's not good. Now let's go trade this key in and see what we get. If we get rune legs, we're laughing. <sighs> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Rune legs. Oh dear. Now the issue I now face is I can turn this into a dragonstone amulet and allocate for more than this alone. We're gonna go get some gold. Getting some gold. We're everywhere. We're here, there, and everywhere. You know, I see. I look at the time and I look at how much I've actually made and I question. You must admit, boys, I've been very creative in my money making. Regardless of the time that you can't see. I've been so creative here, it's unbelievable. The aim of the challenge is to get NPC sets and I'm here shearing sheep. What's going on? I alk the rune chain. 32k, it alks for 30k. You can't go wrong there. That's going to get me a piece of rune, but it's also going to get me a lot of the stuff that I need. Come on, let's turn this into an amulet. I'm just going to alk it, I'm just going to get it gone. Boom, alk, 43k. We've got 43 smackers. Number one is the Falador Guard. I know for a fact the Iron Chain Body. Our good friend Horvik. Horvik, where are you, sunshine? You sound like the bread. Hovis. Hovis, my friend. Trade. Get ourselves an Iron Plate Body. <laughs> iron Chain Body. Don't make that mistake, Jen. That wasn't too bad. Sweet. Barbarian Village is the next stop as well. Actually, I swear the Granny in here sells us leather boots. Pretty sure Dave's Nan in here sells us leather boots. Gonna be honest, it's not the Nan, it's the... Uh, the mum. It's an absolute miracle. It's like I know, it's just like I know these things. There's certain things that you just can't teach on this game, and that is just one example of it right there. Leather boots, there. I, Iron chain body, it's over there. Do you know what I mean? Shoe away the dog. Jen, where'd you get bronze meds from? Um, hello, Pexa. Or one bronze med. I almost bought five then, that would have been disastrous. I swear they sell them in Varrock. I swear they sell them in Varrock. Or is that just long swords? I'm pretty sure it's just long swords in there. They sell every dagger in the industry. Right, there's a, there's a shield shop in Falador, if I'm not mistaken. Cassie with a naughty bun. Has zero steel square shields. Where the hell am I going to get that from then? I'm going to have to make it. That's the quickest way. I'm going to have to make it. Pickaxe. Check. Or. Check. 
Steel Bars, classic. Hammer, don't mind if I do. And last but not least, it is done. And there is the first set complete. Definitely didn't look up how to make steel bars. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? Start getting some sets. The first set I'm going to get is the Falador Guard. Straight up. Bronze medal on Barbarian Village. Everyone knows that. Pexa, bronze medal on please, mate. Thank you. Straight to Lumbridge. Right, if game knowledge is there, leather boots should be here. Yes, they are. Next stop, Falador for the iron. I think you get an iron chain from there. If you don't, you definitely get the steel square from there. Cassie. Ste steel... St Steel, steel squares out of stock. It's out of, st out of st sorry. I'm gonna have to smith it. I don't think Jen's bought it, but I'm gonna have to smith it straight up. And I've just sold my bronze pick for the second time. Horvick, you must sell Iron Chain. You're a bloody plate body shot, mate. Iron Chain, Iron Chain. Yes, yes, we're away. Okay, I need to go Lumbridge and get a pickaxe for the third time. I may have underestimated how long it takes to mine coal with a bronze pickaxe. This should generate me two steel bars. 100%. Yes, there's one. And it's two. Cot. <laughs> Don't get mad, Dave. It only took you four minutes to mine each one of those coals. Right, we want a bronze sword. That one. Thank you. 26 coins. No problem, mate. Here we go, here's the square shield. Boom, whack that down. One of the finest Falador guards, blending right in. Set one, complete. Get me on to the next. Second on the list, I'm just gonna get the hand member out of the way. This is gonna be one of the most painful ones to do. There's nothing worse it, I can imagine than, than pickpocketing these things. This 81 feeding better do some damage, let me tell you. Excuse me, thief coming through. Thief coming through. The only thief that's going to be is Dave at the end of the day when he's got his highway mask on. Spam the GE, you know what I mean? Going to be honest, we have had a pretty insane start to this journey. We've already got the, the gloves, the logo, and the top. I was going to say pants then. Who says pants? Right, we're looking good. We're looking good. Oh my god, I was going to pickpocket the... I dismissed the genie. There's my runecraft and XP gone for the year. Yes, we've got the bottoms. Absolute steel. We've got an absolute steel there. Boots! Go ahead, my son. Oh my god, I thought I was going to get 99 thieving here then. Yes, I think I've done it. I think, I think that's it. That's everything, isn't it? Yeah, boom. Done. That was, that was swap. I did that in a decent amount of time as well. Dave ain't beating that time, trust me. Dave ain't beating that time. Onwards and upwards to the next. I'm going to knock a really easy one out of the way and do the Dark Wizard. I'm pretty sure you can buy the black robe top and bottom from this lovely deer over here. Thalisa, Thalisa. Yes, a priest gown. The hat, you buy it from a magic shop. Aubrey doesn't sell it. So the only other place I know of is not Alcarid David. Betty. Betty. Bet 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 Betty. Hey, Bet Betty. You know, so uh, yeah, she sells the hat. Betty, you're coming out tonight, love. Coming out tonight. Oh, Dave Knowledge. Boom. Dark Wizard. Done. Next one is going to be the bandit red cape. I do not have a clue. Right, next on the list I'm going to go for is the dark the dark wizard I'm going to go for. Because I saw before when I nipped in here, they do actually sell the, what's it called? The priest gowns which you need. Those bad boys. They sell that red cape. I need that for the bandit, so I have to bear that in mind as well because I need to come back here. Right, so you can't actually get the hood. So Dave's told me that to get the the pointy hat which i'm pretty sure my boy betty sells even though she's a girl we will ignore that wizard hat boom that's the full set done already that was an easy one if dave struggles with that then he's absolutely stupid cape shop where's her cape shop kirill cannabis do they sell capes but i find out no that's a taxidermist dave tell this is a clothes shop surely this sells red capes red capes you can buy it from Varrock, dave okay okay betty Nope, sorry, this is your sister, Red Cape. Straight in here for the Steel Dagger. If he sells it, you should sell it, Steel Dagger. Yes. Head over to our mate Ali, and we'll get the Desert Top, and we'll get the Desert Disguise. Lads, we're flying. We're absolutely flying. Might have spent... Oops, fired. Might have spent a lot of time making some money, but we're making all that time up back right now. Ali, cut the shit. Sell me some shit, you know what I mean? Fake beard. Fake hat, desert top. That's it. That's all I need. 
That's it. We don't need to skirt because bandits have white legs. That's it. That's that's the bandit, right? Red cape, steel dagger, desert top, desert disguise. Boom, we're away. We don't need the boots. We're away. <laughs> we're away. No, sh dagger, dagger. Yes, we're a bandit. Move black legs, not white. Okay, moving on. Right, next up, boys, we're going to go for the bandit. Obviously, before we noticed the cell, the red cape you need for the bandit. So we're going to buy that now. I need to brainstorm now what else is the steel dagger. Did they, did they sell daggers in this shop? I'm pretty sure they sold daggers in this shop. Oh my god, it's fucking clockwork, Jen. Where did this stuff come from? I actually think I dropped one from the hand members as well, which is... Actually, it, you can't... I couldn't really be able to use it anyway. Scratch that. Desert Disguise, which I'm pretty sure I can get from my boy Ali. But I don't know how you get a desert top. I do not have a clue how you get a desert top. Clothes. Does he sell them? He might actually sell them. He sells menophyte stuff. That's not ideal. Show me your general stock. Here we go. Right, I need that for the disguise. That's pretty simple. How did you get the top, though? How did you get the top? Protein. Hello. <laughs> right, for the desert top, the only place I can think of is the place in... Suffinium. Suffinium. If they're not in here, honestly, I swear down. Cats are being sacrificed, let me tell you that. There's no trade options on anyone. Simayun. No, I've not... Why am I going to be walking around with bloody wolf and snake pelts? I don't... I don't have... Bits of Dave on me. I've been stitched up here. How am I gonna know we get a desert top from? Jamilia, what are we saying? Don't want thread. Don't want thread, Jamilia. I know where to get that from. It's like in the mirror. Whoa, when you're standing next to me. Right, so I've just gone done my research, right? And I need to get these three eyes to this bloody guy. For some reason, he's in the desert and he wants me to get him cow eyes. What are you on about? So I'll get him three cow eyes, so then the alley in his buddy store in Al Qarid can stock desert robe tops. If they've already had these stocked, I am kicking off. Trust me, I am kicking off. My name's David, and I want you to get a desert top, even though no one's ever heard of the item in the entire existence of Gilinor. <laughs> Fuck off. Rug merchant, go on, rip me off again. Thank you. 100 coins to Polvinich. I'll fucking walk next time if I wasn't in a rush. I'd buddy walk for 100 GP. My main man, Siamon, I've got your three cow eyes. If you don't accept these, things are going to kick off, trust me. Ali, what have you got in stock for me? If you don't have this desert top, let me tell you, that fucking fake beard is getting ripped off, you trust me. Right, okay, cool. Yeah, new range would be sound. Let's have a look at the clothing. Yes, that's the one, in it? Boom, desert top has been achieved. Thank you very much, Ali. Um... At least we got there in the end. Thank you very much, I'm here all night. And that's pretty much our bandit. Now, I figured I'd leave the two combat ones so last. So, let's, let's, let's go get the ham outfit. You know when you know you're going to get angry? And you're just preparing for it. This is it. This is it right now. Just relax, Dave. Relax. Climb down. And let's go. Steel, like we're in London. Okay. Where are the pieces? I've done about six invents and had one piece. I had one piece. Could have been 99 bloody thieving. There's another. Oh, that's a good one to get. That is a good one to get. We got the top. We're not getting duplicates. Well, it's hard to get duplicates when you don't have any items, Dave. Fucking think you dickhead. We're getting there. We're, we're nearly done, sort of. We need the gloves. We need, we need everything. <laughs> You've been bundled out of there. You know what, mate? Jimmy, what are we doing? <laughs> Clues for all, why not? Just give me a clue. Why don't you give me the fucking robe that you put the clue in? How about that? It's Duplicate City. It's Duplicate City. I can't get a skirt. And I can't get a, a helmet. I can't, I can't get a hood. Where am I going? Well, but she just teleported. Got the hood. We got the hood. We got the hood. We need the skirt. That's it. All we need is the skirt. I've got that much ham in my inventory. I've got dogs at the door trying to get in. A butcher's joke. <laughs> Can she get scared now? I'm going mad. I'm genuinely going mad. I've been here half an hour. Oh, 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 we got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. We're done. Ham, done. Get me out. Get me out. We're going to rub our amulet. Hello. Um, Pretty sure it's... I want to say it's the lookout. I'm going to run ahead over to the chasing place and get our level 1 armor. Before we do that, though, we have to destroy our level 5 armor. And I'm going to have to get that back. 
at another point, at a later date. Thanks very much, David. Thanks, Dave. Yep, yeah, nice one, Dave. Great idea, Dave. Well, let's do a challenge where we have to have full Shazian armor. That'll be fun, won't it? Yeah, nice one, Dave. Yeah, just to show him a level 5 Shazian Greaves. That's fine, Dave. Fight any man. Don't care if you're tier 1, 3, 4, or 7. I'll fight you. Come on. Oh, great. You know, a, a weapon would have been a great idea, wouldn't it, Jen? Nah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We've got him. We've got him on the ropes. He can't compete. Right, there's the full Shazian achieved. Um, I just realised as well he's got a steel 2H. and didn't actually think about that. Surely he's got to sell 2Hs in here. He sells everything. Oh, great. Yeah, you sell the long swords, you sell the short swords, and you sell the daggers. No 2H. Just look at the chat box and I see, did you buy grapes? You know, he's learning, boys. He's learning from the Vitoso ways. He's learning. Right, boys, it turns out it's in Talvali. And I do remember because of the easy clue step where you have to come to the shop. So, boom, there is another one achieved. Uh, we did that in pretty quick time, but it was a, quite an easy one, I'm not going to lie. So, to finish off with, we've got the hero. It's going to be a case of making the money. Uh, that's going to be the key thing here. So, I'm going to concentrate on that mainly. Uh, you can buy pretty much everything from the shop. The only thing I'm not sure about is the Rune Square Shield. Now, I need a weapon to do the Shazian and to do the Necreals for the Rune Square Shield. So, I'm thinking I do the hero now. That's the hardest one, and I do the Shazy in last. Right, so I'm fairly convinced you can buy a rune sword from this shop. Next to the green DI chap. V Valene? Scavo, of course it's... Rune, rune sword, 20k. How much are the legs? 64k, Jesus. Oh my god, I need that 200k. Right, I'm just planning on getting some nature runes for some alks while I'm killing... The Necreals, I'm thinking about 15 Alks will do. Hopefully that's that's good enough. This is going to be interesting. At least we're hitting. We're hitting at least. 2,000 coins, I'll take it. Yeah, this isn't great, boys. <clears throat> Nothing to see here, mate. Yep. But we're about to get another Necreal kill. Hopefully we get the Rune Square sooner rather than later. It's not great, but we're going to get the Rune Square. Oh my god, we got it. I called it. At least it... <laughs> oh. Oh. I need to make 84 clips. I need to make about 130k. 130k. While we're here, let's just go get it. Oh my god, I just got it. I just got it fourth kill. Fourth kill. Let's get the leather boots. I honestly think the best course of action for me now is to do gargoyles. It, it's going to be a lengthy money maker. We, we're sort of avoiding common money makers. However, big however, look at the gear. This is the gear. Physically look at me. Look at what I am doing. I'm averaging about five kills an hour. <laughs> oh my god. No. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, Dave, Dave, Dave. There's only so many things you can ask for in life, and Rune Plate Legs was one of them. <sighs> oh, it's. Oh, God. It, lads, just look at the chat box. You can't write this. You cannot write this. An RNG just comes to me and says, Dave. It's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. I said, I know, me. I know it is my time to shine. And you all saw me doing puro, puro. You didn't... You, you thought I was mad. You thought I was David tormenting all over again. It's all played out. <laughs> you should get me out. Aubrey, my man, you know a fine rune when you see one. Can you offer me a better price? Yes, you can. I'm going to have to go back. Last kill. Oh, my God. You can't write this. You can... <laughs> Hero. Complete. I am a hero. First things first, leather boots from our good old friend Dave's mom. <sighs> Times like these, I wonder if it's worth doing these videos at all. Hopping worlds for steel plate bodies. You please do not even bother. Alright, I've got our in the plates. Let's get these sold to my main man, Horvick. Uh, 30k, which is pretty decent. So, I can actually go ahead and buy a rune sword, which is what the hero wears. So, that's one item off the list. Scavo, scavo, mate. Give us your rune sword, lad. Dave been here, has he? Dave been here getting his, getting his runes. I don't know how many to buy. Oh, my God, I'm going to be here all night. I'm going to be here all night. Oh, my God, 15. Kill him. 
Go on, my son. Come on, you wing bastards. Sort me out some alcohols, please. Oh my god. You fucking beautiful winged birdie bastard. Do I need it? I don't need it. Music to my ears, boys. Music. Honestly, I, f I fucking love gargoyles. As much how OP they are, they are the best thing in the world. Have a bit of that 63k. Rune battle axe, I will take it. I'll take it. It'll have something. Beast. Right, we can buy a rune plate body now. All we need are the legs from these guys, or we need to make another 80k. Either legs or another 80k is what we need to do here. I think that is that. We've got 154k available. Ozzy Arch, my good old friend. That's so steep. It's actually filthy. 70k. Gabba lad. <laughs> Get us here. Rune plate legs. Let's just go for it. Thank God for that. Right, we need the square shield and we are done. Right, just jumped before we get there. I'm going to get some food from here just in case I take any damage while I'm in there. So this guy's got eight squares. What am I doing wrong? Speak the devil just like that, boys. Really square shield. Thank you for the blessing of this guy. Boys, that is it. We are done. Time is going to be paused now. Let's report back to Dave and uh, see what's kicking off, boys. Soldier, tier one. Hello, mate. I reckon I can take you. They're all level 39, level 39. There's the Shazian boots. There's the plate body. Shazian helmet. Gloves. And we are coming to the end. I think we just need the legs now and then we're done. The greaves. Thank you. Full Shazian armor. Right, I've just informed Jen. I literally could not find the NPC. So, obviously I like this guy now. Apart from the Steel 2H. So as soon as we get that Steel 2H, we are done. Where to get Steel 2H? I have no clue. I might just have to make it. I swear there was a sword shop right next to me when I opened the chest for that dragonstone earlier. If if <laughs> if I if this is right, if this is a spark of genius in my head now. Apart from that, I'm gonna have to make the sword. I don't know where else to get the sword from. <laughs> <laughs> Does he sell two H's? Does he sell two H's? Does he? <laughs> oh, we're done. Pause the timer. Pause the timer. We are done. Lads, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've got my time here. I'm I'm pretty proud. Right boys and girls, we are back. Jen, how'd you find it? Shite. You got your time in the chat box? Yeah, it's in there, Dave. Jen, whoever has the quickest time wins. And the other person can say nothing else other than stand and deliver at the Grand Exchange for half an hour. Please say it's not me, a okay. CBA lad. Three two one go i love it i genuinely love it. I love, oh. it I love it i love it i love it i love it it wasn't even that far off if my rng was on point they would have been a different story and here's 20... the thing oh down to the second as well you were 25 33 minutes more yeah but lad my rng at the end was shite explain do do tell mr hero lad i couldn't get the, the Ooh, save me, fucking Jensen. anything Gargoyle started off good, couldn't get anything, then I couldn't get the square for ages. Ask me what kill can't got rune square on. Go on, that's two. Four. Yeah, there you go then. There, it says it all done it. Pooed on my desk, it's still there. It's right next to me, it's still there. <sighs> stand and, you know what? Stand when I lose and it. deliver virtuoso, is what they call him. Stand when I lose a video, I just want to log off instantly. That is that is what I want to do. Do the forfeit, log off. Now I've got to sit here for half an hour. Come on, let's do it. What do you mean, let's do it? I'm logging off going on wow and you're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> right, can I just ask, why does your face look like a, one of Gertrude's cats? Like, like a raccoon, lad. You look like you know a raccoon, I mean? yeah. Jen, get out of the binge, you know what I mean? Thank you very much for watching this week's episode of our Score and Skip Challenges. Jen's going to go ahead into G for half an hour, have a nice time. If we can hit 2,337 likes on this video, we'll do one hour of standard and delivering next episode. Check out Jen's channel, check out my channel. Jen, have fun. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. See you in a bit. <laughs> this is the worst thing ever. Are you okay? Neil, I'm not okay. Stand and deliver, pal. Do you know what I mean? This is the this is the shit I have to go through. This is the shite I have to do. Mackenzie. Duplex. Stand and deliver, pal. Yo, verse. Ver, nice vid, bro.
Bro, stand and deliver, pal. Stand and deliver. RuneScape thought you're under arrest. Stand and deliver. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that, David. I know it's a forfeit. I'm not saying. I'm not saying stand and deliver, mommy. That's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Mate, we got a trade from Slugfest. Have a drink on me. I mean, I can give that. Uh, nah, I'm gonna drink it. Fuck it. I gotta do this for another 20 minutes. I gotta stay here for another 20 minutes. Sup? Stand and deliver. That's what up, son. One million, your family gets out alive. She's trying to ignore me. Stand and deliver. 100 mil or Gertrude and a cat's get it. Do you know what I mean, boys? We make them feel sorry for the quest people. One mil or Gertrude and a cat's get it. Come on. I swear to fucking God, like, this is... <laughs> <laughs> and we go to the leg out button and we click... <laughs> What the fuck has happened? <laughs> Shut up. Listen here, Granite Ed. Stand and fucking deliver. Do you hear me? <laughs> Maybe we got another trade. They're all coming in now. Blaze it. Do you know what I mean? I can respect that. 420 coins for an easy, easy little uh, couple of minutes of work. To be fair, it's actually been quite funny. That since we got a trade and people have actually started to respond, at first no one was saying anything, I was just walking around like an absolute idiot. Third trade, listen, 10 coins, we'll take it, it's a good graft. Um, nah mate, I can't, listen, it looks like it's all bank, I'm not taking that. Right lads, the half an hour is up, we got a mil in total, pretty much. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give this mil back and use a mil of my own money to give away because I just feel, I feel harsh boys. And it, I mean, I know the forfeit is standing around for half an hour, but at the same time, I feel scummy. Right, she accepted it now, sweet. Right, I'm going to take a mil of my own money plus the 430 coins we got. And uh, go give it away to some random noob. Right, this guy looks pretty, um, he doesn't look overly rich. His stats are pretty garbage as well. And also, he's got one rune crafting, so I respect that. So I'm going to try to give it this guy. He seems like a, a nice guy. He's got one rune crafting, so I really respect the guy. 18 farming as well. Fucking cool beans. McDaddy. Enjoy your mill and 430 coins, courtesy of kind players who donated through me, who I reimbursed, and through my money, I'm giving a mill away. And there's your forfeit. 30 minutes to stand and deliver, and a mill giveaway. Thanks Dave for putting me through this ordeal, really appreciate it.